You're watching Around the Region. I'm Andrea Perry. Well, the resurgence of roller derby is really taking the country by storm, and Chattanooga is becoming a part of that movement as well with our very own team, the Chattanooga Roller Girls. Now in their 2013 season, they're getting ready to kick things off on April 13th. And here to tell us what's in store are team members Sarah Vander Holy Wheels and Shank Williams Jr. Ladies. Welcome to Around the Region. Well, Shank, it's good you. to see you again. Good to, see good you to meet again. you, Sarah nice Vander you. Holy Wheels. I love the names that you guys come up with. That's great. We'll have to talk a little bit about that more in a minute, how you come up with your names. But um, like I said, roller derby is, I mean, we, we, I grew up watching it, and I'm dating myself probably, but um, we grew up watching it, and I never would have thought that it would have regained its popularity again. So, Shank, tell us a little bit about why you think it is becoming popular again. Well, I think I think that it's just a, an opportunity to get to hang out with some really great girls mm -hmm. and get fit and healthy and just um, just have fun. <laughs> have fun, <laughs> yeah, definitely. Definitely. Well, and I, I remember talking with you last year when you came for the season opener. And, and Sarah, let me get you a little bit of background on you. What was it that drew you into roller derby? Um, I just thought it was great. It was something that was all about women. You could just be yourself. There was no pressure. I played sports in middle school, but it just, nothing really, really fit. Okay. And when I just found this, I just knew it was for me. I just knew. <laughs> I was like, I can do that. And I, that's what I loved about it is that it doesn't matter your size, your shape, okay. like anybody can do it. That you is just so have cool. to have that determination. That is great. What did your family say about it when they you told them that you were gonna I'm gonna be on the Chattanooga Roller Girls team? They they thought it was great. They loved okay. it. I've I've always just done random things, tried every I, my theory was just try everything till something sticks and this is what <laughs> stuck. That is great. <laughs> now I know uh, recently you guys had uh, a boot camp for yes. for for fresh meat, so um, to speak. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, what how did that how did that work? Were you able to, to kind of identify some some new players? We had, I want to say, four skaters um, mm -hmm. who actually ended up doing the tryout, and one of them is a returning skater. Um, Amsterdam. Okay. Amsterdam. Yeah. Really Amsterdam. Yeah. Okay. Um, they, uh, we have a boot camp process where you just learn how to skate, um, mm -hmm. how to fall correctly without hurting yourself, stop, that's, yeah, things like that, and then it's a tryout to become fresh meat. And okay. Then, then that's when we teach you the basics of roller derby. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. And that's important. You mentioned something because I was going to ask you about that. It's a very, it's so physical. I it, mean, my gosh. And yeah. I mean, you've got the pads on and the, the helmets and everything. But how do you learn to fall down? I mean, you just think you're going to fall. Yeah. <laughs> but to keep from hurting yourself. Um, lots of practice. There's <laughs> start out slow. Uh, just there's certain there's certain types of falls you have to do to learn to absorb the the full blow of the right. hit or the fall so you don't hurt yourself but lots of practice and getting used to falling down because yeah there's plenty of that it comes natural <laughs> trust me right now for people who may not be familiar with the object of roller derby shank kind of tells how do you score points the, you, there's five players from each team mm -hmm. there's four that they call blockers one okay. including a pivot and there's a jammer that has a star on their helmet that right. lines up behind the pack. And so the goal is for you to help your jammer get through the pack and not let the other jammer get through. But once they get through the pack once and circle the track and come back around, then they can start a accumulating the points at that time. Okay. It's a two cool. minute jam. Okay. And so there's a 30 minute halves and so as many times as they can get around, they can score <laughs> a lot of points. That is really cool. Wills is good at that. Oh, okay. That's very good. Are you, so are you, you're the jammer? Yeah. I'm one of the jammers. One of the jammers. But I could not do it without my blocker. So. <laughs> I understand. Kind of like football. you got to have the right mm -hmm. teammates and strategic places mm -hmm. to help you get where you need to be. Exactly. So, okay, that I understand. <laughs> That's good. Now, what is the one thing that you absolutely do not do when you're on, you're, you're out there, you're, you're, you got a bout and you're going strong. What's the one thing that's just not tolerated when you're out there? Well, you don't want to punch anybody in the face or elbow <laughs> yeah. them. Right. A lot of okay. people will ask questions and say, you know, you're out there elbowing them people. Oh, but okay. there are specific rules for the game mm -hmm. and uh, it's just very important to be safe in that aspect of it. But it is, it's very fun to watch and to play, of course, but you want everybody to be safe. So you don't want to 
hurt anybody that way on right. purpose, I guess. Yeah, definitely. And then that's some it's all about good sportsmanship mm -hmm. and you've obviously build you're obviously building camaraderie with each yes. other uh, on your team and I guess when as you travel and and compete against other teams, right. you're getting to know them too. Yes. Mm -hmm. And yes. you, this is still a fairly young team, right? How many years have you guys been doing this? We started in 2008. Mm -hmm. Okay. I joined in April of 2010, and I think you joined in December 2009. Yeah, I okay. came to my first bat in the December 2009. Mm -hmm. Okay. And I started skating in 2010. Wow, but I, I applaud you ladies. It's not easy, and it is certainly not for the faint of heart. <laughs> so, but um, you guys have your first bout, your home opener mm -hmm. coming up on April 13th, and that's going to be at the Chattanooga Convention Center, so that's pretty exciting. So if anybody who's never gone, you need yeah. to check that out. But Shank, you wanted to add I something? I just wanted to say that we've worked really hard to get, as a team, to be accredited with the Women's Flat Track Association. Okay. And we did do that at the end of the season last Great. year. Great, congratulations. So that was something very hard that everybody's worked you know, long time coming. Long time coming. <laughs> that is great. Well, congratulations, and we wish you the best of luck. I don't know if you can say break a leg to you guys. You don't <laughs> no. want to do that. But we wish you the best of luck for your 2013 season. So, Thank Sarah you. Bender Holy Wheels and Shank Williams Thank Jr. Thank you so much. Ladies, for you guys us. are great. Thanks Thank for coming you. by today. No problem. Thank you. <laughs> All right, friends, we're going to close things out. But before we do, we've got our community calendar. That's next on Around the Region.